Speak the truth, my content might just make you so uncomfortable If you out here fibbing, being fake, no, I'm not one of you I'm trying to take this higher from the bottom, now nah, I'm one of you Wonder who gon' recognize my worth, this grind been wonderful It was only cheap between my wonder bread I wondered where the bread was, trying to get my family stomach fed Gotta keep my head up, I know my day gon' come I know them days get brighter if you work, the shade gon' come But prove them wrong What up, what up, what up? You are on the podcast with Talking Ish with Chris. Today, I got a special guest, Lex the Villain, my girl. She came out to see me, see what we, we gonna talk about some stuff. Um, let them know how they can find you, Lex. Hey, it's Lex the Villain. Uh, you, if my ad is uh, at Lex the Villain, L-E-X-T-H-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N. That's right, that's right. And um, I was sitting here, we were talking, she was letting me know about a lot of things that she likes to do, um, and one of the things is photography. Mm -hmm. And so, what made you get into, like, photography and stuff? Well, I've been doing photography for, like, since high school, but mm -hmm. it was more of a hobby back then. Mm -hmm. So, I think, like, since it was something that I was, like, always had a niche for, always a find myself falling into it. Mm -hmm. So, about five years, I started taking it seriously, like, went to school for it. Didn't finish, <laughs> of course. Where did you, where did you try to, uh, or where I went start? to Solano for um, photography and okay. art and digital media and all that. Okay. So, um, didn't finish that, but um, I have been getting jobs since then. Like, mm -hmm. I just recently worked for Dead Stockers, which is like a StockX e-commerce type mm -hmm. thing. Always good. I work, like, light touch. Um, boats, took pictures on boats, mm -hmm. do yachts and all that stuff, do parties and events. Shoot, I might actually need you because <laughs> I um I have um, some cousins that do a lot of um uh, concert events. Oh yeah, I like and, concerts. Uh, which I'll show you. They go by good people, and um and then the guy that I played for you, bless, they're going to be eventually setting up their shows and stuff. And so that's something that I've been wanting to do as well as capturing those pictures and and just learning. You know, behind the lens, doing the, oh yes, and stuff, and so actually, that's one of the reasons why um, I, you know, wanted to <laughs> pick your brain and stuff oh, yes. and ask you things, you know, because um, I, you know, I like catching those those still shots, those moments, those candid, um, you know, shots, yeah, behind the scenes stuff. Um, like I was just showing you, just re me recording, you know, my cousins and what they're doing, and then putting that into an actual, you know, little mini movie or something for them to just. Of, of how where they started to where their you know their finished product oh, is and even for me just the stuff that I'm doing like you know I got somebody that, that can do it for me where they can start filming me you know just uh, doing my podcast and doing YouTube and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. uh, of just behind the scenes you know what I what I'm trying to create and do so I, um, but yeah that, that's that's one of the things I wanted to ask you too. Um, and doing that and when you just out of curious when you do that like when they contact you it's just like you had like a like a, 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 a like a lookbook kind of like of what you did or just kind of like just some of the work you've done I have, over a, the, um, oh. I have a website my mm -hmm. portfolio is on my okay. website um well if you um, that's the word i was looking for <laughs> yeah <yes. laughs> uh so so basically it where you started your portfolio so mm -hmm. everyone knows it. like my pictures i throw everything on there you mm -hmm. could look at me like you can even book um book me from there and i look mm -hmm. at my uh, comments and see what you need i get all the details from mm -hmm. there and i think it's always good to like really talk to your your client mm -hmm. like really understand like oh what are you really looking, looking for? for like what like why are you looking for mostly what is this for are you looking for headshots is this for family is this for personal is this for work like what's going on it's always a a detailed thing whether if you're dealing with um with um, like wedding, or wedding or anything uh and our family portraits so that's mostly like how you 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 can see me i always think put put your work on your instagram put your work on every social media you have like snapchat i don't care what it is if it's uh your, your tinder put it on everything <laughs> you have do not get you do not know who you're gonna run into who right. you're gonna uh, hit your shit hit your swipe that might just write why because they saw your art like right. i always write why because you you do x y and z i saw your instagram you know mm -hmm. so just keep hustling put it yeah. out there 
Okay, okay. That's definitely for sure. That, um, and that's just something, too, I wanted people to know, you know, that that's something that you do do, mm-hmm. do, do, and that, you know, they can hit you again. How do they find you again? Uh, you can find me at, at Lex Development, L-E-X. T- and- I'm sorry. <laughs> L-E-X-T-H-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N. And what's your uh, website again? Um, Lex the Villain, uh, Adobe. Well, just type in Lex the Villain on Google. You should most likely find me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah so that way, you know, they can see some of your work. I'll see um, So, yeah. Uh, is that me? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You popping. I don't know why <laughs> it's popping like that because I... Uh, Shoot, it'll be dry as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> On the day you want to go do shit. On the day you want to go do shit. Yeah, shit. But it's on Friday. Friday shit real. going on like, with the rent. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so since I've been doing my podcast, um, you know, some of the things have been somewhat, you know, tied to like, um, I guess you could say relationship and, uh, you know, sexuality uh, of that nature. This mic is really good. Like, just it for it to pick up. It, <laughs> it, it, it's a really good mic. <laughs> just to pick up and, like, not have to, like, you know, do it that way. I might use this. I even be hella close to it or anything. Like, it right, picks it really up, picks maybe. up. Well, right. And this was, like, $50 really? in my home. Shout out to Tamika. At, um, <laughs> I don't know if I should say her job, but. What, Best Buy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because she gave me the blood on it. You know what I mean? So, you know, shout out to her um, for believing in you, uh, black man. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to send this to her, too. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, and so uh, I was reading a, a text that you had sent me where we were talking about, um, I think it was about the. Uh, actually, first of all, I want to, before I talk about that, let's talk about that whole you were talking about. Wow. With, the, with the baby daddy, uh, what was his? Let me look this shit up. The girl that got the baby daddy. Oh, the, the Brittany basketball. Runner. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, I feel bad for her. It's like that moment when you just be like, pray for her. It really keep is. her, keep you her in like, your keep prayers. Her in your prayers, because if you watch that video, I think other people watched it. Just like, oh, she's such a hoe. Oh, she's just gonna get back out. I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks so sad to me. She mm-hmm. looked like so. she's at her fucking lowest. What you, what you say? If, if, show me what your lowest looks like. It would be her. If, yeah, uh, uh, post a video of when you was at your lowest and nobody knows. So it's Brittany Renner right now. So basically, so she she got pregnant by what team do he play? I'm trying to find. I don't even. Him. I don't even. Mind you, I'm a follow. I haven't followed sports since Kaepernick. You know, I haven't done. Uh, but I, ain't I, never I know. Follow sports. <laughs> But I don't know why I, I thought watching basketball because of that. But it just it, it just all came together for me. I guess I, I wasn't a big fan and, and that huge of a fan, so uh-huh. it was easy for me versus people who are die die hearts. Mm-hmm. So, um, but she he was in the he was like uh potentially like he was still in high in uh, college playing D uh, D football or A football whatever uh-huh. the footballs are. So he was like, you know, the next potential dude yeah, to hit the thing. So right. she she saw him, and she, you know, she's like known for trying to trap dudes, like trying. You know, he's stupid, young right, dude, cute little light skinned girl. Let me holla, and give her a fuck baby. With no condom, no condom. I tell y'all all the time, like these girls is set up girls. Okay, mm-hmm. these girls don't want to work. They don't want to. <laughs> You know, figure out a career move. That or ass. It, it's it, it, like it's I need just, to be a basketball. Wife I just want to lay down on my back and get smashed in a Buick. Mm. <laughs> <That was funny. laughs> it was clean though. It was clean though. It was clean though. The rims was nice. You know what I mean. Uh uh-uh. uh, like I I I think we do live in a generation when people don't want to work, they want to be on TV, they want to come a quick little come. So up. reality TV has made it may created that type of culture where yeah. like when did wearing club dresses at two o'clock in the afternoon be a thing remember that used to be for after seven you know yeah, they call it like, after seven or after eight i mean dress. you're trying to get a man that you you know what now, they're doing you right. know what to go on now it's like you got on like mm-hmm. you know everything tight short I, and it's like girl we only going to 18 and zero <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> to pay this bill. Like, like you, like, you know what you're you, doing. You like, I understand going out, wanting to look nice, wearing maybe a sundress, something like that. Right. But I kind of think, like, but you, you know when go you're out, going out, out for attention when we just run into Walmart. Come right. On. Like, you know what I mean? It, it better be you was on your way to the party. You had to stop. <laughs> exactly. Like, but it don't like be I that. stopped there and had to, no, no. You went right back to the house. <laughs> And got in your boo boo and said, Like, you know what you did. Like, you really got fully dressed just to go out for like 30, 40 minutes, bro. Right. Like, and that, that'd be the shit. Like, it'd be, it be, um, mm-mm. you know, I, that's why sometimes I talk to my friends, like, you know, they be looking at, you know, I get it. You know, you looking at breasts and she's beautiful and all mm-hmm. of that. And you're harder than $19 worth of jawbreakers. But it's like sometimes. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it's like you gotta look at like, especially if you're a man that's in position or you're you're getting popular. Especially if you're getting popular on TikTok, you're getting popular on any kind of social media. Sometimes you gotta start questioning why people are around you. You know what I mean? That come out of nowhere. Where does that come from? I'm curious. Like, when did Instagram and 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 Twitter and all that stuff? Become the level of like a of celebrity hate, like oh, I'm hating on his followers. I'm hating that he's getting like he's popping. Like when did I, I mean they, hate? they was doing it to have celebrities? So what was new? Oh, having followers, you knew celebrities were gonna have followers, but they still hated on them. Fuck you and your fans. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, how many times, you know what I mean? You know, Prince oh, and Michael yeah. had a beef. You know what I mean? Oh, Fans they had a real beef. <laughs> you know what I mean? Beyonce, you Shit. know, uh, Beehive, B. Oh, they, they go hard. hard. I love you know me some B, but they go hard. They, they go hard. Now, only person I be out uh, defending is Michelle. Y'all not going to do Michelle like that. You hella funny. Because she, you know why? Because her, uh, her gospel album touched my heart, her first one. And so I just have this <laughs> special love. I got this special connection with no, cause her. Look, my, my mom passed when I was 14, right? So her album came out like two months after her funeral. So it was like, that was kind of like the only thing the, that kind of got me. The song that you played over and The over song or the better. album, you know what I mean? That's so, quite beautiful, though. That really and so, is. Like, and it's Michelle, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, I am a Destiny Child fan. Man. I don't, I I don't like anyone coming for any anybody. Of them. I, I don't, love I be all like, of them. I be like, they don't mess with nobody. So no. just be like, and I always be like, why do people hate on Michelle? But it be like, your favorite queen loves her. Like if Michelle was that weak, they she wouldn't be in the group. <laughs> like that ass. Like Beyonce only, is not. <laughs> and people don't even peep. Like y'all realize Beyonce and Kelly had the same exact voice. And people mm-hmm. just go so crazy for Beyonce. But they don't realize I, Michelle was holding, mm-hmm. or even Latavia in uh, the first, the yeah, first, Latavia and Latoya, yeah. They rounded out a whole. It did, but even they brought they brought Farrah in for a reason. But nobody heard. Her. No, but, but she they didn't had record on nothing. She, she was had the, to audition to get in the group. She and, auditioned, but she didn't lay no tracks. She went <laughs> yes, on the remix. She could have. She, <laughs> she didn't have time. Yes, she, she had to go. go I, she had to go home. She couldn't even get her bags. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, that. That. I couldn't get my bags. She mean, they told me you had to go. If you ever see that you ABC Family, and Beyonce was like, "Oh, you could leave tonight, you your play." Just like, would you like my bag? Ain't ready. You could. What, you we'll send them to you. Or do you want your bag? What's more important? Going home, <laughs> getting your ass about my motherfucking studio <laughs> is what Beyonce said. Like, no, it's not for you. Exactly. It's like that shit. Uh, you know, I, I just, I, don't know. I love Michelle though, so I always be rooting for her and stuff. You know, I do. I, 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 I even don't even like people coming for Latoya. Like, even in any sense, especially, like, when she got heavy after the baby. Oh, let's tell you, look at Yes. She, oh. I don't like, I don't like any of her. Yeah, so she got heavy for after the baby, but, then she had another baby. But she, like, mad skinny yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, she's not as skinny as she used to be, but, you know, like, she's, like, older, and she just had two kids, like, back to back. Right. Like, so, why yeah, y'all doing um, that? Whenever you come, from, like, they came for uh, Jessica uh, Simpson when she got pregnant, too. After she but they don't baby. come for that fat ass auntie when she had her like, fourth kid. do that all the time. Like, dude, like, really? I yeah. think it's because of how we came to know them. Yeah, you like, they don't and, and we be like, oh, she ain't like her first album. I'm like, you ain't like your <laughs> first album. album. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you ain't, a lot of people don't have their like, high school shapes. Exactly, sure. I you still got my high like school shape. You look like when her album came out. <laughs> right. <Stop> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's true. I do not true. like that. It yeah. kills me. It kills me every time. Like, yo, people get older, they change. They're not going to stay. Stay the same. And it's yes, like she it's just funny. kicked out a whole human being. Yes. Like, like how hard is that? And then, and then, and then the get upset when females do snap back too quick. Like, um, Tiana Dan- Taylor. Tiana Taylor and Danny Lang. Just like she, just, I didn't even know she had the baby already. But some of them girls just be naturally they, skinny. So, um, like, you know, them girls that you didn't even know was pregnant the whole time. Exactly. And then you be like, yeah, she did. But she, she yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Like, you thought she, she like, did. only the belly was big. Right. Everything yeah, else. That's was, like, that was Solange when she was like, like, like her that. belly was hella big, but like everything just else. Just look like a <laughs> <laughs> Capital P. <laughs> that ass. Yeah, like that shit. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just I I it do suck for women that was like you know they lose weight or it's not fast enough or it's not or they don't even feel themselves you know no, the way it's their body always was. gonna be a, a a trying for female for men too for anybody with weight period, weight, period yeah because I don't know I I've maintained pretty much since high school, but I well anything I'll say I lost because at one point I ain't got big. Like, I think I lost I more. I think I'm less than what I, I was started, 18. That's <laughs> when it started, like yeah. coming off, and I was like, oh shit! And now, like, even now, you see I got my little workout oh, you on the got door, to do the little routines, and mm-hmm. shit. trying to do the little you know in here, fat and breathing and sweating, <laughs> titties just slapping and bouncing, <laughs> trying to get this chest off me. Stupid. <laughs> I'm like, they, they, it's Ooh. over. It's time to make this rock solid. So we go to see. But yeah, I, <clears throat> back to your original question, though, <clears throat> what you were saying. I think it's, you know, social media has just become the new, you know, celebrity. You know, it's it's the new entertainment. And, you know, anybody can be famous for really anything. You know, like that lady that just whispered, eat pickles, like, it's people famous for just eating on camera. Like, come on. We didn't yeah, got that. But that's what I mean. Like, are they really making... Like, I understand, like, the niggas that are making money off of it already. But the niggas who are just getting, like, but even, hella likes. But even the ones that are making money of it, it's like, in the long run, you did all... You made all this content, but is it helping? Like, who? Like, I always look at, like... I'm not hating on people that like get your money because I mean if I can figure it out too, you know. But <laughs> but it's like I always look at like okay, I always try not everything I put out, but some of the stuff I put out I try to think with the intent of like can this help somebody or like like I always wanted to create things that like you could look back ten years and be like that still resonates. I like I still get that or that still have I always wanted to age create, as well. Yeah. I want yes, ages old. Like I was looking at this African man, and he was saying, um, "You know, what are you doing for your people? What are you doing that's helping?" I had to make sure this was still recording. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, we've been talking all the time. No, we good. We said <laughs> this we, whole time. No, no, no. We seventeen <laughs> minutes right. We ain't recording shit. No, we seventeen minutes in. So, so." Um, you know, he was saying, "What do you, what do you, what are you doing for your people? What are you, you know, doing to help them?" You know, and I was like, you know, I think this is when I was still kind of thinking, like, "What is it? Like, what am I doing this for?" You know what I mean? And trying to figure that out. And so, like, I always try to do things with the, you know, with the ten, even though you know this is talking issue, Chris, and I'm talking shit. There's still always some truth in what I'm saying. Right. I I just might not have, you know, said it to you directly. But if you catch the end of your window, it's going to resonate you know, with somebody. somebody yeah. Right. And then it's, it's sometimes I say, or even just certain ways I say it or I put it, it's to hit a certain person. You know what I mean? Um, whereas, like, a lot of these people that are making content, it's just goofy ass content. Just like, having fun making they're money. Having fun and making money. And I ain't mad at it, you know. But it's like, you, you made all this, but what did it really impact or what did it really. You know, and maybe someone would say it provided a laugh for me when I was sick. And that might be, you know, a, a way for, you know, for somebody else that see it that way. But I always just look at it. Some stuff that people be putting out, it just be bullshit. Just like music. Yeah. The music be bullshit. It just be bullshit. You just doing it to, to make the money. But the, the art that you put out is damaging, A, and... 
Exactly. I'm glad you said damaging because I was going to bring up the the old podcast that the, you know, the Will of Fortune dude. Not Will of Fortune. I'm sorry. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. The Jeopardy dude. And he uh, was just making, Alex Trebek? Yeah. You know, no, the uh, the one who was going to take over for Trump. Oh, okay. okay. You know, he, his, uh, he was going to take over to old, his old podcast from like 216 or 213, something like uh-huh. that. I don't know the year came out and it's about he was disrespecting women saying um obscene like obscene slurs and all that stuff Mm -hmm. so yeah he had to step down from jeopardy so you know you were just making content you wasn't really putting anything Mm -hmm. forth to the universe you were just bullshitting so yeah it's gonna come back to bite you just if you just oh let me just try to make money that's the only thing you're thinking of that's why i say i go back to with the only fans and stuff it's like I get the hustle, I get the money, but it's like, this could come back around and bite you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, and then the bold, like, I remember when before fucking on camera, everybody was still trying to be discreet. You know what I mean? Now it's like, is that Barbara from Cash Lane <laughs> for you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Niggas was putting their fucking like, uh, OnlyFans on their car. Oh, they, they did call, not care. Did not but care, like, yo, like, all of my OnlyFans, like, what? This, okay. And this is why I think curiosity like sexuality everything has changed because sex has just become so wildly open in so many different forms that i just think like everybody doing whatever you yeah, know what i mean like i thought it would be more like porn hub like amateur porn hub even then, porn hub would have got smarter yeah too, it's, like, i'm like but like a porn hub should probably have done this first, this first right, or like, <laughs> like i could somebody. see that like oh they they leveled their way up i could see that because <laughs> first you could you can make an account do your own mm-hmm. shit but only fan they but they said they got to end that though next month so but i thought they canceled it, it. Oh, they can't. So now they're not. Now they're not. They popped up. They said that they took it back or that they retook it back. They probably are that, or they gonna revamp the rules because they said the people bought in, brought in two billion. They only brought in one billion. Now, how you the company and you bringing in Uh, less than what the people? But that's what investors are. Investors are supposed to come in and co- cover you. Like, oh, you're you're worth one billion. Oh yeah, we're gonna throw two billion at you. So no, 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 not the people that invest. I'm talking about everyday motherfuckers collectively pulled in two billion. They like, and we oh, didn't get none of that, and that's shit. why they like I didn't know hell. That. No. I did no, not know they, that they didn't really get a you know or whatever they ten percent whatever their little small cut is now. Ooh. It wasn't. If you know, you as a company, plan? that's like fake. That's like me making more than Facebook. How the fuck? Yeah, I'm making more than Facebook, and they got all that. That that ain't how that supposed to go. See, with the pandemic, you know, that put everybody, you know, and because Facebook had them, you could do tips. You're like you're if you if you're like a. I don't think it even goes through. Uh, not Facebook, but OnlyFans. I don't even think it goes through OnlyFans like that because they do like uh, like extra oh, tips. Somebody, I mean, um, like when you, you really like something on their OnlyFans, they had ways to make side money oh, with their money. clients yeah, and yeah. stuff. So yeah, I could see them making more than that. They should Damn, be. Damn, the world is really horny. Like it's crazy. I don't even think it, the world is horny, but I, well, it's always been horny. I mean, that's why porn was like, a billion. Yeah, billion but billion. like it's so now it's so much more open. Like. Even think, in Japan, they have like their their public. Their uh... we've always been this. It's just now being filmed. Now I will say this. I will say I believe it's times two because you're perf- people don't realize it's they're performing. They're performing for the camera. So you're probably doing. You're probably getting off a little more than you probably normally would mm-hmm. in your average mm-hmm. horniness <laughs> just by yourself. You know what I mean? Doing so much you for doing the yeah for the camera, and and then that makes me nervous for the children, the kids. That's why I feel like it's important for parents to like, look, fuck sugar coat. You need to just tell them like it is. Sex is not what you're looking at on OnlyFans. <laughs> that girl that's sitting there with that goddamn horse dildo, whatever and shit, and rotator. Every girl ain't walking around <laughs> yes. doing that. You know what I mean? Like, don't. Okay, you want to get off to it, whatever. Just don't have that expectation. There should be like uh, understanding. I don't know because like sex has always been on the television because I'm like I never had having the, this kind of sex. That I, they nev- I never had the sex talk. I learned from HBO, Real, Real Sex, sex. Yes. It, did, it did all that shit. Taxi, Taxi, Taxi Cab 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 Cab. Yes, <laughs> that's how I learned about sex. <laughs> I didn't learn no other way. My mama didn't sit me down or none of that. I learned from that. And it was still soft core. It, it wasn't, wasn't as yet. hard as so it is today. So you still could go out and look for that. Exactly. Like, and 
Like even that was a mis misrep- uh, uh, misrepresentation of what sex but was. It was a little but it was a little more uh, kinky, like oh, okay, I, I'm still going in not knowing the full story, story. but like it was it wasn't. Now, oh. can I? You know, one nigga asked, "What did he ask me? Can I?" It was some shit he seen online that he was like, oh, uh, fucking gangbang. And he was like, yo, you know, like, you know, six other dudes. And I'm like, what you mean? He like, he like, you know, he's like, I'm trying to, and I'm just like. What? Nigga, I don't know six (laughs) niggas that just ready to go like that. Like, you know, I might be thinking one homie that might be there with six some nigga. (laughs) He was acting you. For six bros to, to be down. To be banging him. And I was just like, bro. First of all, your coochie going to be done. <laughs> Why do you want this? Well, what? they do because if motherfuckers are getting, there's a lot of gang bang videos. But I feel like. It's getting into your subconscious, your sexual subconscious mind. Now you're going out here wanting it. And now, you know what I mean? And that my thing is, first of all, that's six souls that you just asked to put inside you. Be careful of everything that you receive inside yeah, you. Yeah, very true. You know what I mean? That's six seeds Surprise. in you. That's six. That's You don't know what these men are carrying A disease was. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then it's just like, everybody just don't deserve to be inside you like that. Nice. Like, I get the fantasy. And then it's like, if you hold, like, if you want some shit, you do that shit in Montana. You go mm-hmm. out to New York. Get your gang bang. You don't do that in the place you live. <laughs> you might see them six niggas again. You don't want them to be like, yo, that, that was the that nigga that. <laughs> you don't do whole that's shit it, like that. that. You go out and you go to oh, Vegas for that shit. You're gonna be tagged as Tag, that nigga. As that nigga. Like, you don't want that. No. Like tops talking about that's some out of town shit. Bad. You that's probably like, tell your story. Right, one day, you drunk at night. <laughs> right, you know what I mean. Like no, like you want six. I'm like, I'm like, do you want to be one of the six dudes that's knocking it down at least? You know, because I learned from a pimp when I was young, and he told me never let a nigga run, you know, ever run me. So I never wanted, and not only that, it just was a lot of that. Just sounds like a lot of work. It just does. I mean, like if you down for you down for it, but like I ain't judging. Get it how you live, exactly. But that sounds like. I know I'm the type of nigga like ah, I got mine I'm done right like, I, I'm gonna go home <laughs> cause it's like that take too long and it's just like uh-uh. every dude is different oh my goodness so, but you know what type of night on it like is he off honey how long you gonna go like right. ah, did he hit a coke a couple like, lines before we exactly. <laughs> like can we have an intermission in between like what is what's gonna happen shit like PlayStation real quick shit like, 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 like a break I need some water cause <laughs> my jaw is really tight Shit. Go sit some Epsom songs. Man. So, but, but a lot of them are watching stuff like this. And, and I mean, it, and that's just the tip. I mean, I've heard some, you know, some wild shit. I mean, to where I, I even found like dominatrix shit. Like, you know, I've stumbled up on it. Now, that was kind of fun. On that that shit. was fun. I'm, but I, I didn't go hard. Up. That's the only thing. I'm scared to be chained up. So, yeah, you, I don't it, so be, you got into I it. I was. Ooh. Being the mistress, I think, or Mister, I don't know. Oh, so you have the whip? He, yeah. So, so I got over there, right? I just thought it was gonna be a regular hookup. <laughs> Boy, did he turn <laughs> around on me, right? <laughs> and so I get there, and I seen this little sex swing, right? And I was just like, oh, you know, just innocent. Oh, what is this? It's <laughs> <I'm> intriguing. <laughs> right? I'm like, what is this? What you, you know? He's like, yeah. So like, I was swinging it around. I was like, you know, I was like, ooh, this thirty. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> so we drinking water and stuff. So, anyways, we we you know get ready to get to it. And he's like, I want to get in the swing. He's like, and I want you to punish me. And I was like, he's like, I want you to slap me. All this right. And I'm like, I'm not slapping you like this. I I don't want to play this game, right? <laughs> But he's hot too at the same time, right? So, <laughs> I'm like you. <sighs> like, I'm like, so you know, I try to give him a little, you know, a little. <laughs> you bitch, you know, I try to. He was just like, no, like, like I, you know. And so I like to me. give it to him, and so I was like, all right, so uh, that was fun. Pushed the shit out of his ass, like not like you know, not a face or nothing. 
but, but the like in the chest and stuff like that. He had this paddle. I was slapping him. All of that. I made him walk like a bitch. I told him my fat ass was hungry. I said, "Get in the kitchen." Yes. <laughs> like, and I really was. He was really, really, be really getting off on that shit. But see, I think he was in a. I didn't know all his because it was a hookup, so it wasn't like I was gonna get all the tea. Mm-hmm. I think he was like in a powerful position. Like, like he did something because the house so is very nice. Money. He made money, right? So he's like a CEO or some shit. Where a I don't know something like that. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't I'm not for sure, but it. You know, the little bit I was, you know, he did. Okay, <laughs> I could see. I, I understand. Like people and get I, off on different shit. And I asked him. I was like, "Why are you?" You know, he's like, "I'm in control of so much other things." He's like, "It's feels good not to not be in control of." You know the things that I, I have going on, and I had to. I it wasn't until I drove home. You know, you yeah. replay the conversation in your mind, and I was like, you know, I don't know. Maybe if I was, you know, doing so much, because I've I've mm-hmm. asked men a lot of questions. Guys that had wives, or why are you doing this, or why? You know, I always would want to know. Like, yeah, you know, I would too. Best get you know, get a nigga <laughs> laid out naked. You know, so <laughs> that feels so, right, like right, else. right. <laughs> That's when you get some questions and I would ask, like, well, why are you, you know, doing this and stuff? So but I say all that to say, like, a lot of them are watching this porn. Even that's why I say with people here, they're like, oh, these niggas is gay. I think a lot of these boys is just watching porn and watching boys that, more, let's just go with masculine, heterosexual boys having sex with each other just for the money. You know what I mean? You got straight dudes out here hoeing themselves in the gay community that's very true. just to get the money. They ain't gay. They don't really want this <laughs> motherfucker. I'm still trying to figure out, you know. Some have girlfriends. Some have girlfriends. Some are married. 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 And will slang some dick for a quick couple thousand. Like, you know, I hear about it in Marin County and stuff. They, a lot yeah. of niggas go out there, get with these white rich dudes and, and break them off something. You know what I mean? A couple times my back was just wild. I was like, I don't know. Maybe I should go. We're but not almost there. Uh, uh, I got too much. I got more on my mind. I, I have sex to, with, to uh, I have sex with no men to heal them. Fail. Not to. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going I'm to try something else before I do that. I have sex with men to heal them. Not necessarily always for money. Bruh. But, but, yeah, so stuff like that. I, I think, you know, a lot of them watching porn and then just wanting to have sex just to get off with each other. But it ain't they ain't really trying to be, you know, romantic. Yeah. I think that mostly, I'm, well, I'm the type of person. I don't, <clears throat> I don't even think that there's really an orientation. I think that's mm. major, basically something so that we push them on, on yeah. us. Because I think sex, body is body, sex is sex. I think Motherfuck it comes can. to love. When you, when it, dif- when it's, di- that's when it's different. That's when it, there's a different, a difference. It's when it comes to like, I love you and I could have, fu- I could have fucked all these people. But I love, love you. you, right? You know that that's a difference in it's that. A, like, I, like my body is one it's part, right? Like of my one, mind and my emotions. Like yeah. how I feel with you, how we like when we talk, when we watch TV, when we're 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 connecting on a whole nother. Like, I always take it like that, Erica Badu. If you could take me to like, if a bitch could give me that Erica Badu, I'm like losing my mind, wearing some <laughs> different shit. <laughs> like, I look good in this, <laughs> right? Learn to say like, oh, bitch, we in the house just. Smoking weed and doing making music. I'm like, I don't even make music. <laughs> Cutting old records. <laughs> that's true. That and, and and that's why I say like being gay is more than just you know the sexual aspect. It's the emotions. It's the heart. You know what I mean? Um, that's why I say men stick their dick in anything. They Mm-hmm. fuck on each other in jail they'll fuck on each other in the military it's, and it's considered jail, survival it is considered survival yeah. that's what i'm saying and, it, and, it, and it's and they don't want not all you know but a lot of them <laughs> don't want you know the the romantic the relationship um mm-hmm. some of them some men don't get along with men like that yeah <laughs> just so just, they don't need to be in on each other <laughs> no man you know what i mean so it's just like you know and some men be like oh, i can never be i'll be like that's because you thinking about the next grizzly ass <laughs> nigga you know of getting what I said, you know, turn right. out, is it just, you know, it oh, just, I just, a, it, 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 a connection. It's a connection. You gotta, the guy gotta be comfortable with you, all of that, for any of that shit to go on. You know what I mean? It has to, you know, be chill and y'all have to be on a different kind of wavelength for that stuff to just, you know, go on. But then again, I don't know. Motherfucker mm-hmm. get them high and drunk enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know what could happen. What could happen. You know uh, what I mean? And I've had, I've had weird stuff. Like, 
I don't even know why we own this. <laughs> Since we own it. I had dudes pull their dick out on me more, like, randomly, like... Dudes pull their dick out <laughs> no matter what situation it is. The first time I ever seen a dick, and I, I didn't know what it was, was uh-huh. in, like, kindergarten. Uh-huh. No, it wasn't even kindergarten. It was, like, third grade. I want to say Miss Elena class or Miss... I remember class. the teacher, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't the teacher, but we were in class. Right. And a little boy, he, he pulled his dick out. He said, look under the table. I'm like... Look at it. Look, I looked at the table. I was like, what is that? He was like, touch it. I was like, I touch it. Like, <laughs> what is that? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, like what is it? And it took me to another two years to like, like, this nigga yeah. pulled his dick out on me. <laughs> And I did not fucking know what it was. It wasn't until I started watching HBO on Real Sex. I was like, oh, oh he, he pulled out his dick on me. People yeah. don't realize how educational Real Sex was <laughs> right. in the 90s Dead and early 2000s. Ass, Dead ass. I learned how to put a condom over my mouth from a hole from Harvest <laughs> Boy in New York. <laughs> I was doing that shit so Bad. long early years. All the tricks. Oh, oh, I missed them old hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go buy a DVD of Real Six but, just to go back and that, look. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I should do that. Or even and Taxi Cab mm-hmm. Convention because I bought the uh, the corner. You remember the corner? Like, on HBO? On HBO with... Um, uh, I think I seen like the rerun. Like, you know how they rerun. Yeah, the rerun. Yeah. I, dude, that was my shit. That was like the first... Um, what is it? The Wire to me. I was like, uh-huh. the like, oh, like this snowfall was and, all, and snowfall, all that shit. Like, ooh, this shit was so good. So I bought that shit off Amazon, and it was so good the second time watching it. Watch it. It's just when you older, yeah, and you, you like, you like, get oh, it. Oh, shit, that nigga did. Oh, I see why y'all got that nigga. You know, I would up watching too. Well, like, um, you remember that on Showtime, Queer as Folk? I love me some Queer as Folk. That's how I learned about sex. Oh, gay yes. sex. <laughs> I hate that the L word wasn't as good as Queer as Folk. <laughs> Queer as folk has so much sex and rock I'm not the first one like, you know deep. what a rim shot is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true, that's true. But it, like, I was telling uh, this guy, and I was like, you know, this, because he's like younger than me, and I was telling him, like, this is what I had to try to figure out, like, you know, what, even though they were white, you know what I mean? But it didn't even it matter. It was had, the only yeah, thing I had, day. you know. And I, I mean, and that probably just across all color lines, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I was like, you know, just so I watched it again when I was like 28 or something like that. And it was just funny because I was like, oh, my God, I understand all of this. Like, I felt bad. But what's the boy name? Uh, the blonde one? The blonde one. No, I forget um, his name. Justin. I, I, Justin. Yeah. And... I remember, you know, being in love with older guys, you know what I mean, and being 8, 17, 18. Because they knew what it was. They knew what it was and stuff. And, and, you know, just like, oh, like, I just, I felt his little heart broke when he, you know, taught him the ropes, groomed him, and then just let him go. Oh, my God. Oh, why you doing like that? He's still a kid. And you knew what you was doing, bro. You toxic. You know you toxic. It's toxic, toxic, but I look at it like, you have to go through that. Ugh, I hate that you're, though. Don't you hate it though? I, you hate it because a nigga that's 17, 18, <sighs> just as old as you ain't gonna know shit. Exactly. So it's like, <laughs> like y'all gonna figure it out. First of all, we already got Sneak and Hump. You know, you go over to the older mm-hmm. house, he got the cows, you know, the apartment, you know, whatever. You already got that shit. He already got right. that shit. So, like, you know, you look up, you look at it now, and it's like, yeah, it's like, you, you it does suck, like, I don't know, shit. When did you um? When did you realize like you you know like like okay I like girls or or was it like a, a, a all the time thing? It was. Or, uh, you know, it. it was. I think I was. I always know. Because I, there was a point in time where like I was mad at God because I was like, make me a boy or stop letting me be gay. Touch it. So it had to be like a young thing because I was like very negative God at that time. Mm-hmm. And then once I got into it, I think once I became very more comfortable with it, it was more like just understanding of the world. Yeah, more than that. Twenty three was when mm-hmm. I really, and that's when I got into my first like lesbian relationship, mm-hmm. dealing with that, dealing to like understanding the ends and out of living with a female which is not easy it's not mind you y'all both have y'all menstrual around <laughs> no, the same, same time, time. 
<laughs> this is not an easy situation. <laughs> it is not. She drinking tea in the blood. She drinking tea in the blood. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> Was kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> Arguing on dumb shit. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, and honestly, I've only had, like, that was my only relationship I've ever been in been for seven years. Mm-hmm. And that's who first kiss was my virginity to, mm-hmm. done a free first threesome with, mm-hmm. first person I fucked a dude with. Like, this, that was my first, first experience, everything. period. And my first heartbreak at the end of the day so i hate the fact that you do have to go through that thing period just to get to the like oh oh okay this is life we're real okay you be in that young mother oh Oh, we're we're gonna last forever let's get married married. have kids together it's never gonna end oh i can't stand this bitch (laughs) i cannot do this i know what i'm looking for now okay right because every time she chew it just (laughs) just like this bitch oh my god like we we probably was better friends than anything anything, right and that happens too sometimes like you know y'all date or you mess around for a while and then it just didn't but you end up being better friends. Yeah, you know I, mean? I really yeah. honestly believe really like, oh, another another lifetime or another, um, yeah, yeah, another, lifetime, yeah, yeah, another lifetime. We would have been friends. Friend. We've been like the best of friends. Too. All right, sometimes even at that time, you know, it well, it takes two mature people. Like sometimes time, you know, time to bring then, you together. Like I ain't not there bring yet. together, <laughs> but, not, but not bring you together to be in a relationship, but bring you mm-hmm. together to be cool and. And cordial and still root and support. Oh, yeah. I, you know what I mean? As long as they ain't hating, you know, yeah. you moved on with, you know, Kimberly and here she, um, you know, Kimberly <laughs> like, again, you know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta, I feel shit. like that's the type of thing, like, we're probably getting into like 60. We're in our 60s and shit like that. Like, yeah. hey, girl, <laughs> I'm not perfect. 60, y'all both in the same thing as this. Y'all both See get each other in life. AARP is true. Right. Y'all been not be still beefing shit, in the doctor exactly. office. We, you got bad knees, <laughs> she got bad hips, nigga. I can't I'm just setting it off in there and still mad about some shit in 2017. <laughs> exactly. Let it go by then. We can let it go by then. I don't know how but say, like well, I think once we get like over the initial burn, it's possible. Mm-hmm. But I think that's possible for anybody. Like the television like I never thought like friends or television shows where exes break up and still stay in the same group. Of friends. Of friends is actually possible, but I like I've seen it actually in real life. Like, oh y'all is really cool. Y'all really I mean, as long as everybody else stay kinda yeah. mutual like look. Yeah. Like y'all had a pass. <laughs> like mm. Don't fuck up our shit. <laughs> yeah. y'all can't. Don't be Jordan for right. fucking uh, best man. Don't do that. Don't come in here me along and try to fuck a fuck with a married man. You know what's crazy? I need to think of the best man too, right? Ooh, I need to rewatch that, but yeah. But I need to see the first one. Okay. I need to see Best Man over again. I still don't understand why Love Jones is all of that. You know, I never seen it fully through. I remember seeing clips on on BT. BT. I don't remember the, the story. story like, 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 I what never what got what everybody was like, oh, it's just yes. so. And I just like, I never got it. Uh, uh, what's another black movie I still uh, Jason Larry. So that's the one. Oh, yeah, Jada, right? Jada, yeah, 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 I, yeah. Like, I remember seeing it. I remember seeing it. I, I know it. it's a brother situation. Like, the brother kind of holding the other brother back. But I don't remember, like, how it. I just remember them. Wasn't they writing letters and. Jada was out in the park with that little, uh, little, little early nineties uh, mullet. That whole ass dress. That was play like that. <laughs> you know, it kind of curled in the back. Yeah, it kind of flipped in the back. Yeah, yeah. stop playing. Yes. I did. I did. And I remember his booty was hella hairy. Is that why I forgot about it? And then you just put it back hairy, in my head. Hairy, was like, yeah, yeah. That it was so sensual to right. see. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. Okay, I guess. Right. But yeah, that's like heck movies. That's, that's you like, know what other movie I want to see with Jada in it? Oh, I forgot. The, I just love down dirty shame. No, movie it's like I, got that. I do love love down dirty shame. I mean, I watched that like. Every three months, so I got, yeah, <laughs> it's I a good that that movie. Oh, Every time on. they put it back on Hulu or Netflix, I'm, 
I'm back on it. But there's another one with her and um Lorenz <laughs> Tate. Kingdom Come. Uh 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 what is it? Wait, Jada Pinkett and Lorenz Tate. And Lorenz Tate. Ah, uh, uh, it just slipped out of my head. It, uh, oh, it was in the nineties? Yeah, it was back in the nineties. That shit I and I, I, I mean, remember, you know, she ain't acting. Uh, I remember Oh seeing it. no, no, that, he wasn't in that. I remember seeing it like back in the day and like really into it, but I don't remember the the movie, the premise of it. It was good back in the day, but she's done everything. The Riz Tate acted a lot, so it's hard for me to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even remember. Dead President. Then I love me some Dead President, but not oh, you talking yeah. about? Um, I can't remember the name of it. No, my, my you talking about stuff. when she was getting ready to move. I think it was like she a was at the movie. end. It was at the end. Her son was on that bike, that big, that big wheel, and and oh, is that the same movie? No, it's like she's young. She's a kid. she's like really. And she was remember she had braids, and she was like, yeah, yeah I'm about to leave. Like, I got oh, you're talking about no, 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 no. You're thinking of uh... oh, what is that movie? I know what you're talking about. Uh, you remember she was like, yeah, we about to leave. <laughs> We about to, I, I, I think I with the she had the dookie braids. Yeah, hold on. I got the computer right here. We really mad. No, no, no my shit just ready to I'm like trying to get on it and shit like that. I'm really trying to think. I watch all our listeners probably gonna be like saying the movie. I know, and I'm like, like, they, can like get it. they hella dumb. Uh, right. <laughs> Let me see movie. Jada Pinkett movie. Okay. And so okay. Like talk about how much of a legend she is. Oh, you talking about men to society? No, that was the one about. I was talking about. Where with the big damn, they've done a lot of movies together. I did not realize that. I did not realize that. that I was. love Woo. That was one of my other favorite movies she did. She's like, you did it after him. Huh? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Inkwell, the Inkwell. With her and Lorenzo. That low budget ass movie. Yes. I remember watching it as a kid and yeah, I was like, yo, that shit. I remember like watching it oh, and being hella into it, but I do not remember the story. I remember so it. I remember her shading him and then coming back. But damn, they did do a lot of movies together. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if they ever dated. You think? I, think I wonder if bodies. Missy and Timbaland ever did it. I always thought that too. I, I was like that's I, always, I never trust sister and brother. That whole sis and brother thing. Yeah, you might have had a moment that y'all was getting it in, but like but now that's Mrs. Strike me low key a I think she could do both. But I think she mainly. I think she. <laughs> is, I never I think, see her with a man. No, nah, I think. She, but she. Also, rap, we been new. But that's the thing though. She talks about both. That she ain't never fronting like yeah. I could. She's like uh eating. She talks about eating pussy, and she also talked about getting fucked. I think we just gonna be catching it in her lyrics. Yeah, you, you go be, like really listen to so it. This is like you really listen. Like yo, she has talked about that shit. I think Missy is. I think. um Couple of other women. Okay, people who like Missy, Queen Latifah. Oh, people, well, we, yeah, we, yeah. we, we, everyone just. The brat when she came out, we was like, child, we was talking about that in 2001. We ain't tripping about you. Did she come out? Yeah, because remember she got that reality show with Big Booty Judy. I know, but I didn't know she ever had to come out. She I didn't pretty know much that. did um, when that girl bought her like a Rolls Royce or something like Wait, that. Wait, Paul, so. Like her. No. Don't tell me she came out when she started dating Big Judy. No, no, no way. Because she there was a rumor with her dating. Uh, it was always Krishan. rumor. It was always rumors. Krishan. But you never heard her come out and actually be proud about it. She was fine. for us because we old. We old as fuck. So we been new. That's Maybe. like that's just like with R. Kelly. We don't give a fuck. So we been here. Like R. Kelly announcement, like you know what you got. No, she um here now you got me. She made well. Did well, she. Have yeah, did she say I'm gay? Yeah, or she's the loving I'm, of all people. I'm hella mad because that was my crush back in the day. Man, and the fact like... that no, I'm not oh. mad that I could have got those. I like I could have hooked up. I could have oh. hooked up back in the day. Raven, well, how do you what? Thirty four. I'm thirty. Thirty. Okay. She's only like four or five she, years. Oh, older she older than me. me. She's like she, you're older. So yeah, like she's like that's good. We good. She's only like seven years older than me. I could like that's not bad. If uh, J. Cole was not too old for Nia Long, I was not too old for Ray. Uh, wait, Simone. J. Cole and him? Cause the, no, you know, oh. he had that rap lyric. Oh, I oh, only regret oh, okay. uh, I was too young for Nia Long. But he said, she said, she has an interview where she says, like, he, he's not too too young. Like, he's fine. No, she's still in her four. Or at least know. at that time. I, when he yeah, said yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. 
Still look good. Amazing. Yeah, she did. She came out on the Tamara Hall show. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know, I've never watched Tamara Hall. Uh, That's so, crazy. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. So. I thought it was just... just a, I thought she came out in like the nineties, to be honest. No, it was just always out, you know. <laughs> they were just was. people assumption because she it. was so tomboyish, and yeah. you know. But and it wasn't the like stereo- Aaliyah tomboyish, mm-hmm. or it wasn't like even. She was somewhat sometimes cute, or she would <laughs> open up her shirt here or there. You know was what I mean? I, I saw her mostly like she reminded me of just a mini Jermaine Dupri, a little big. Like, like, like when but she like that first was came style. out, but as like the nineties went on, she kind of got cuter. Then remember she did? Um, oh, she did the one on the beach. The, the yeah, that's one, when she started like, doing sex. Even that was that was a shock. That was a big exclamation for her. On, on yeah. party, like oh, you know, we did it because we was on a beach and it was a sexy beach, so we did that scene. That was like. A big thing, the brat in the bikini. But oh my god! god. Like, you see her like she, you know, she would show titties and stuff. Like she, I mean, that's more two thousand ish, but um, the brat is cute. Like the brat is very gorgeous. You know, she, she. Yeah. But that's what I mean. I'm just mad. Her style was just more. Right. It wasn't. She didn't go well, for the sexy tomboy. She well, went full tomboy. And, and and what was the stereotypes of? Oh, if a member back in the, in the day you hear if a guy wore his in, earring on the left, that means he was gay. I did not understand that because those some dudes had it, both ears pierced. But and, it was a gay thing though. It's like we, Dorothy. Well, remember, everybody remember niggas couldn't just be out like that. So that's why those things existed. You had one earring in ear that was a way to signify that it's cool to that it was it was or, not, you're right. Down. Or or you know whatever other little things that were down. Crazy. That's how a lot that's of this like part underground. Of, well, road that's road why road like shit. you be seeing dudes hooking up in bathrooms still and stuff. That's a because that was the only way men in the thirties and the forties they would leave their wives or 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 the gay guys or whatever. They would go hook up in the bathroom because you know women ain't gonna go in there. Yeah. And then you go back chill with separate your wife, ways. go your separate ways, or you wow, know what I mean. That's crazy. so that culture continues to live on. Now, now it just got crazy, but <laughs> I never got into that. But it just, you know, but I knew people that did, or I, you know, you see it online and stuff like that. But uh, I was like, really, like, I'm always trying to read stuff, like, why, why stuff is stuff is, 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 you know, is in, in the community. And I think a lot of people in the community don't realize some of the stuff we do is, is passed down culture that really we probably could break these cycles because yes. we don't have to live like that no more. You know, I just found out, you know, in the Baptist church, they keep the the white hand, the white white gloves as okay. culture. I got my white gloves <laughs> like, you know, as like a jersey in the yeah. church. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the thing. But they bring it down as cultural, like, oh, it's just tradition. But mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that came from slavery. It was what slave masters would make uh, slaves wear, so they could, so they would, uh, they wouldn't be able to steal, and also so they could like, oh, I'm going to the bathroom, so they could be recognized. Yeah, my hand. yeah so they could be recognized. It was basically trauma. It's like we're, yeah, we're we, we don't know, and we don't know the history of like we're we're passing down trauma. And a lot of black here. churches don't teach their people. Um, their own history. Um, like my grandfather is a pastor, and one of the things, at least when I was going there, sometimes he would, you know, talk about God or whatever and all that. But he would also educate his people about political stuff that was happening, that was going on. It don't make sense for you to be buying little Johnny Jordan and he can't. This motherfucker can't get a D. Very true. You know what I mean? Like he was always talking to the to his congregation or whoever was, you know, in the congregation, um, uh, more than just church. And I wish a lot of churches would do that. Talk to, edu- it's not like, you can tarry all day long for Jesus, but it ain't going to change nothing if, if the people don't get up and do something. Exactly. If, 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 you know, but then again, it's like, how can the pastor teach anybody or whoever's the leader of the church teach anybody when they don't know themselves or they don't choose to read? Now, you quick to co- pop open the Bible, but you ain't quick to pop open other books, or other things that's gonna to help you. Educate your shit. But, uh, I had a thing with my grandparents, you know, where now I'm starting to question religion and things because they were like, "What do you mean?" I said, "You guys told me to take Black History class, so when I take Black History class and I start to learn stuff, now I got to start looking back at stuff that I was taught, mm-hmm. and now I have to re reevaluate this whole religion thing, and I have to reevaluate." 
why is, I'm not saying, saying God don't exist, but maybe in the way that I'm learning it, is it wasn't the best way. If I was to have children, is this something I want them to know or learn? I never forget my teacher, Mr. Parks, um, ninth grade, he was like, I can guarantee you, you wouldn't be a Christian if you wasn't born in a black family. Mad true. Very because true. when I look at my friends who were Muslim or looked at some of the other Latino um, classmates that were Catholic, or you know what I mean? And just like my grandma said, they right and they wrong, they grandma and they mama and them said the same thing. And then it makes you be like, I don't know about this, you know? It's crazy. It's like, it. it because I came to that that same railroad with my mm-hmm. like my battle with God and shit because mm-hmm. I was like an atheist for like probably from middle school to like 25 mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so my whole thing was the gay thing I was upset about that mm-hmm. but also I went to a Christian school mm-hmm. so it was really hard to question anything in the Bible it was just like Nobody want to use their Nobody brain wanna, outside and what they read like, and it's frustrating. Oh, he was, I know, he, uh, he was just like, because I know there's this question I asked, I was just like, why, because they say, oh, and then God would punish you. I was like, why would God punish us if he made us this way? Right? Mm-hmm. If he made, he knows what we're going to do. He knows everything. Before, right. he, knows, he knows everything that's so going to happen. So why even let it play Why is he, why, <laughs> exactly. Why he going to punish you? Then he you with hope because he Free will. He gave free will. Uh, then, then why give us free will, will if you want then, us to follow exactly what you want us to do? And I was like, okay, and, and just and then you you get you, you're a troublemaker. Then <laughs> just like sit down and shut because up because they really they don't, don't know. The Senate just saying like I don't know, just follow God. <laughs> <laughs> you want it, you like, want it to be superior, and it's like you're like you, you don't have the answer. Just say that. Just say that. Like I, that's what I say. I'm like y'all don't look at these stars and these moons. There's whole other galaxies out here with planets. Make you don't think it might not be other people on there? I don't know. I don't know exactly. But why did he make them? Exactly. <laughs> that's why I, I honestly like I like I believe in God, but I I have my I belief in God, but it's not religion for me. Religion, my organized religion. My thing, like Christianity, yeah. is what we're supposed to be. But like Christianity was given to us by the white man anyway. We're and by then, the man who's oppressed. Why are we? Why we're continuing? You know, he didn't remix it, flipped it, and reversed <laughs> wrote it. Wrote it. And another thing is, like, I feel the Bible is. It's like it. It's been mind you. The Bible was given to us by the white man and had to be fucked with. It of had course, to be had fucked to with. Be. Mind you, it's from a different, um, different um, language, language, time period, and like time period, everything. It wasn't written for us to even uh, truly understand because even some of the stuff like the Virgin Mary, like in America, Virgin is you never been touched. Your your holes still there. Right. Your hymen still there. In um, Latin, it means just woman who could have a child now. That's all it means. Like, it's though, like, mind you, you're we're reading it for us, but it was written for and, another and, and people don't somebody, other people. And be like, well, he and uh, 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 Jesus got pregnant. I mean, I mean, Mary got pregnant, and it's just like, so you mean tell me all the laws of physics on this earth, Mm-mm. and she <laughs> got pregnant, and we ain't talking artificial <laughs> unless unless there was an advanced civilization that was going on during this, and we just. It's just not documented. Mm-hmm. Somebody was knocking me. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> that's literally all. It's like in there in Hebrew. Hebrew. That's what I was like in uh-huh. Hebrew. That's what it means. It literally means she was having sex. She was in bearing. She was able to do that at that time. But because languages change throughout right. time, meaning definitions, meaning, all, definitions yeah. and stuff like that, like leche in uh, Tagala and leche in, in, uh, in Spanish, in Spanish and, like and, that, and yeah. leche in Tagala is a sexual word. I forget what it was, but I got in trouble for I saying it. Yeah, I got in trouble <laughs> in, 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 in Christian school for saying leche. <laughs> it was just like, no, you can't say that. Like, like, that's oh, like shit. candy or something. Like, like, that. Like, yeah, like, like, no, it was se- it was sexual. I don't, I don't remember what exactly what they said. It was but they were like I got in big trouble for it but it's like you're not I, I take you gotta take everything on the game so I honestly believe the thing that God gave us was our senses our signs our feelings and what we and like this already, our brain like what you know God is already in you there's a feeling when you do everything like we, like you feel like you know you have a feeling when you're cheating on your wife there's a feeling. It there's a feeling back. Yeah. It gives you like you're still gonna do it, but you know you have that feeling. Like, I, I know this is wrong. I'm doing something bad. You mm-hmm. have that feeling in you. Like yeah, that's what he gave us to do for good and to and do. And you bad. don't even have to be taught necessarily that you can be t- that wrong or right. Sometimes just innately 
you know, comes in. I mean, when you see children, children aren't taught hate. They're just very loving. They're only taught that when somebody, that is. you know, so. Um, and kids are so at and you know what I realized? It was so real, like to not to switch in the color, but like, can we talk about like how advanced hood kids are? Like mm-hmm. speaking wise, like from like not even being in school yet. Like I realized that from um, like I really think like the study of children's mind mm-hmm. like need to be in depth because learning from because they have fun they saw yeah they're so fun. versus somebody who went to kindergarten who still like still has that bro or preschool not not mm-hmm. kindergarten but preschool and still speak kind of broken nigga, <laughs> <laughs> it was just yeah. like they're still <laughs> or, like just daycare and they, they still speaking kind of broken versus mm-hmm. the kid who's the same age as that speaking like even it might even be a cuss word like god damn it's like, been like you're like damn and you're using it in the right way way in the right <laughs> like, meaning you said motherfucker right like, like, like oh my goodness you guys are advanced man. like if you could put this power <laughs> that you have to do I mean, as a kid i think i was i mean i think that's how we all learn the cuss exactly. you know what i mean and and how well they like how well like i like, think we discredit we ourselves <laughs> i really do <laughs> i think because we didn't have a way to document it that's yeah, why we it don't seem like we were that smart but i feel like we were because we were i remember they said anywhere if you were born anywhere from 1985 to 1995 you were born in some of the sweetest spots because you got to still see what hard work getting up going to work looks like but because we were born right at the tip of the uh, technology and mm-hmm. internet age like we literally i remember still dial up yeah. i remember still you had to go home yes. to get on the internet like mm-hmm. it wasn't a, a job like even um when i moved here i moved to the bay at 19 i was working at kinko's in berkeley people still had to uc berkeley was right up the road you still had to come get on the internet, come to print. You didn't have you and your own printer. Like 10 cents for a printer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was like 38 cents. And, 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 and come to print. Even did pictures. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no digital pictures. Like, niggas was still printing four by yeah. six. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and so, like, people don't, like, don't realize, like, we really were on that, that cusp, you know, that sweet spot of, of just technology. And I think, like, we don't give ourselves so much credit like yo we was figuring this shit out like how to do stuff and, and went through all these different like these kids don't realize even your phone plans y'all got it good nigga I remember you couldn't call till after, after 9 seven. o'clock oh, or after 7 nine? Oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> don't do me like that don't do me yeah, I was dying you was that sprint I had after dying at weekends okay like my grandma would go bad on me. Oh, like if you, I used to send text run messages. Do not run them minutes up. Text messages. Oh, they was twenty cents a minute. A oh message. my goodness, bruh. Those were like my dad used to be so mad. I was always on my. Oh, I missed the <laughs> days you was on your parents' plan, blood. <laughs> Miss those days, bruh. And, the, and so the plans was cheap. That was like $50. Was like, but they had, they would complain all the time off that shit. But oh, you I was having fun. Phone, I remember one time we had, a, like, we were living in a, uh, in the uh, apartments. And not an apartment, but in a hotel. We had to stay in a hotel for mm. a while because uh, we had a big accident at our house. Mm-hmm. And the party line was mm-hmm. our only the entertainment. And we weren't doing party line like we want to hook up. We were kids. kids we were fucking up. up. We were just like, and oh, you, you want to come fuck with us? We're Siamese twins. twins. Right. So this was like, I'm a leprechaun. And right. like mm-hmm. fucking with dudes who really try to fuck with bitches. They would be so right. fucking Some of them knew you was young. It was still like, y'all. Don't know what time. Like, 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 uh, like, stop playing. We were joking. <laughs> we were just playing. <laughs> These kids, yeah, come over, bitch, no. Because your mama already said, don't let nobody in the house until she get home at 9 o'clock. But we ran up that bill because it was our only entertainment. Mm-hmm. Or remember Three Way, we used to you, uh, set up somebody because they were talking shit. And oh, they'd be like, so what was you talking about? Shit. And then you come in and say, yeah, bitch, 
What you talking about? You talking about that? that shit. Do not the bruh, bruh. I do not fucking <laughs> like that shit. Once I, I always act like somebody on the phone. I'm paranoid to this day. To like hey, somebody on the phone. Back. Who hey, on no. the phone? <laughs> Stop I'm still playing. Like, even Ooh. even when I click over. Like, like, you like being your cell phone. Oh, yeah. I still be like, I'm going to hang up and I'm going like, to call, call you back because I don't know the shit. It's like, anyway. what are you doing? Like, you the, you the ops? And, people, and these kids don't get it. It's like, listen, it was some glitches in the in between of this Bruh. technology. So sometimes like some you thought you was hung up and you end up clicking them in and it be like, they be right there. I'm still <laughs> on. To I remember, like, back when you used to hang up the house phone, and sometimes it, the next nigga would still be on the other phone. Keeping it you up. Keeping it on the three Or would just yes. be on the other, other line. line. And then, <laughs> and that's how my mama found out I was about to have a fight. Because she was on the, the the other line. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to beat this bitch's ass at, on, at the bus. It's about to go. And let's see, I love, like, the next day my mom picked me up for school. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I heard you on the phone. <laughs> And you ain't about to fight. Nobody. Nobody. I know you was like, yeah, Melinda, my mama saved your ass. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you up, Melinda. Nobody be like, you bitch. You like you. Shit. Like, no. Bro, right, that's not bro. happening today. Nah, that probably, mm-hmm. probably was something you didn't need. <laughs> Most likely, it wasn't meant for me. I'm not that person. <laughs> and I was talking to somebody from high school, too, because I was, like, trying to ask them, like, like, um, she was, I was trying to ask her, like, what do you remember about me from high school? Because, you know, everybody got their different, different memories, memories different, of, like, like of stuff, yeah, of, like, stuff that, like, you just don't. Remember, and so one girl, she come, she was like, "You a fucking snitch? You always been a snitch." I'm like, "Why are you calling me a snitch?" And so she bring up some old shit by school, right? And she was like, "What?" I was like, "Well, tell me what happened," because I was really trying to figure out like, like what happened. And so she was like, "It was some dude. I guess he passed away like before we got out of high school, like maybe our junior year, but we were like freshmen at the time." And um, he was hit fucking with her. She was short and small, you know what I mean? And and had certain little health issues at the time. But uh-huh. she always held her own, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so he was fucking with her, put her in the headlock. Mm-hmm. You know, he might even liked her, maybe even, you know what I mean? But just, okay. you know, fucking with her and stuff. And so she was, fuck you, bitch. You know, just, like, she was, like, I never heard her really cuss, like, <laughs> like the kids who talk about. She was really cussing, cussing, you know what I mean? You never really heard her do that. So. Like, oh, okay, you mad, mad. Right, you mad, mad, right? So, but I'm on the sideline looking, right, laughing. Might have probably been this game, who knows? But <laughs> so, so I get the choir class, right? Because that was my first uh, class. And I, you know, you remember you get a little slip to come to the office or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? First, I'm like, oh, a nigga about to go home or else. You know what I mean? It was like, no. Oh, they called you up? You talking about somebody about to pick you up? Like, ooh, I'm going to stop at McDonald's. Fuck it. I'm going to get home. I'm going to watch good TV. Catch all the little shows you don't get to see during the day. Kids will never know that either, nigga. When you miss programs, you just missed it if you didn't finish that VCR. Like, <laughs> before that, I remember when Comcast first giving that shit. Remember TiVo? Mm-hmm. That shit was the first. Yeah, the buy that shit. They wasn't doing that. Man, <laughs> the VCR was still better. Bruh, you had to record it. But they, uh, what was I talking about? She, um, oh, so they yeah, get the little slip. I'll go to the, now, mind you, I think I had did something bad like that same <laughs> week. Not like knowing her or nothing, but no, like somebody I cussed out or maybe I got in trouble at home or something, right? Uh-huh. And here's why I say all that. So when we got there, the principal was like, let's just call her, you know, Kimberly. The principal was like, uh, did, did Kimberly cuss out Tom? You know, and I was like, Oh, uh, no. But see, Kimberly shouldn't have been. <laughs> see, I was like, what had happened was. And so I just threw her right under the bus, right? Because it, it was kind of both of them, really, really. Oh, I'm not going to you hear that. Uh, it was really both of them, but I guess it was how he asked me the question where it was like, I ended up just being like, yeah. So. <laughs> It was her. It was Kim. And so she was like, snitch, snitch, snitch. She was just like, nigga, all you had to do was say no. And he was hitting on me. You gonna say that I was cussing. I said, well, you was cussing about. But I, and, and so we were talking on the phone. 
or on on Instagram, and she was like, "Why did you?" And I and I have totally forgot about that experience, but I did <laughs> but that remember it. But that her mind. She was mad off. And I had to think. I kept thinking, thinking like, why? And the only thing I could come up with, I think I did something bad. Like I either had grades or like. My grandpa probably already had got me, so it was like, yeah, nigga, I don't even know. You are, don't get me involved with this no, office I didn't shit. I want to be a part of this. I just want to go back to class. <laughs> Learn to my note, me, 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 me. I'm holding my note. You dragging me into some shit that happened before a first period. How did you break me here? Hell of a man, right? Because I was already like, you know, because I'm thinking I'm in trouble. You know what I mean? Because I never, I was always a pretty for like, a good kid. So I, when I go see the dean or something, you know what I mean? I'll be like, fuck, you know. So that shit was funny. But, um, yeah, it's just funny how people, you know, remember certain things that just like, Mm-mm. you you try to think. Because I was trying to think a lot of stuff, you know. Even like people I haven't found out we used to call me gay. I'm finding out them and their lovers together. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? Like, oh, you was calling me gay because you, you was, was gay. gay. Right. Oh, you and trying was, to deflect. <laughs> but I think, honestly, I think them niggas was haters. You know why? Because I was cool enough to hang with both. I was and you always were able with, to be open. I wasn't open. No, 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 no. Oh, my grandpa, I didn't tell you who my grandpa was. <laughs> Hell <laughs> no. That didn't come out at all. Like I, I, And I still wasn't like, oh, I know I'm uh, gay. Yeah, yeah. Like, that came... Like my senior year, and that more so, like, but before that, um, I think it was because I was cool because I, you know, I kicked it with the girls, you know what I mean? It had a female like personality in certain ways. Well, I was sassy, you know, I was out here getting <laughs> to you, working it, you know what I mean? But I would always be cool enough with the, with the boys, the boy boys, you know what I mean, too. Like, I could hang with them and talk and kick it whereas the ones that probably really was secretly probably wanted to be kicking it with the girls <laughs> but because how things are set up yeah. and the rules go they had to stay stuck over here whereas me I was a hopper I was just in and out so I look back and like, yeah, like why they was kind of hating you know what I mean like and maybe I just didn't see it that way at the time I don't would know would you ever ask them if you see them like all face of book like that's why I was like why did you always do that and you it came now, from so many people I don't know if I could. Well, not so like many. Like, if you ever but seen like one, like if you ever seen maybe, one maybe in the streets, one, like so. Uh, maybe one, but but like I said, it's been I've been going out of high school so long. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I only remember a lot of. I just can remember the the situations more so than who, because it came from females. Everywhere. It came from you know a lot of different family. Like it came in different ways. So I like it's certain people I can remember them saying it but I don't even know if you really just say they was you know teasing me it was more of just it was a, it was inside a roast you know what I mean oh shit your gay I was crazy you know what I mean and it, it never was like ah oh, you it was never like teasing me yeah it would just be mentioned or said and then we moved on from it right you know what I mean so it was never like it wasn't until I got the uh, uh, my senior year and my senior year I was in I was in high school and I was in barber school. Mm-hmm. So I would go to high school. Well, I started right after my junior year, I started barber school that summer. So then by the time I, you know, school started, came back, I was a senior. So I would go to high school and then I would go to barber school. This is where it gets it. Mm-hmm. It, it really started to, these, I always say this is one, and I, and I probably talk about this experience, but this is like one of the best experiences that could have happened for me, aside from learning a skill or a trade right. that could help me through life. I was in school with a, a bunch of dudes. Maybe out of 55 students, eight or 10 were women. The ages range from seven or 17 years old to about 75 years old. So it's all this wisdom and knowledge in between. And this is still the day before social media. You still had to talk. I had to talk to you. We had to, I would listen to stories. A lot of these guys were in and out of jail or going to going to jail while we was at school, you know what I mean? I was learning how to sell coke, weed. Yeah, get in the game. I was learn, shooting dice in the back. I'm learning how to finger blast girls. I'm learning <laughs> all kind of shit. You know what I mean? These is jail motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Shit. So I'm learning shit that I probably would have never been exposed to. And sir, it was those guys that was telling me I was gay. Okay. Looking back, if I was just a little faster, just a little more faster, I could have did some things around that school. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I didn't need to be doing that. But, uh, <laughs> but but you know, you know, you look back, you're like, oh, 
But it was those guys that told me I'm good because, you know, when I look back at myself, we flip it. You got to think about it. I'm 17. I'm at a barbershop. Nothing but purely niggas coming through. So I'm losing my mind inside. You know what I mean? I'm putting grease in niggas' hair extra longer than I should be. You know what I mean? I'm giving you the, t- you know, if he was really cute, I'm giving you the best tape for your life, you know what I mean? I'm getting your shit, like, all of that, you know what I mean? And so, um, you know, they would say little things or make, because I had the feminine personality, they would uh-huh. say little things and maybe some of them low-key got down behind closed doors, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, like I said, a lot of them were jail dudes or, you know, it wasn't too many clean cut. You know, guys. Something um, popping. Yeah. yeah. Um, or just dogs cheating on their women. You know what I mean? That typical thing and stuff. Yeah. And um, a lot of them, um, you know, so like I remember like right before I graduated high school, um, this guy, this Mexican guy, I, I, I grew up in Bakersfield, California, so it was a lot of Mexicans, a lot of Latinos. Okay. And it was black guys in there too, but. I haven't been to Bakersfield. I right seen before LA, yeah. yeah, I seen Bakerfield. Probably what, on the, yeah. it's on the five you on the outskirts, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I, I was born in LA and all that stuff. I was like, how so, when did you move out here? Uh, to the Bay. Yeah, when I was uh, eighteen, oh. nineteen, because I had a lot of family. So we always come up here, you know, for vacation summers. Mm-hmm. So one day I was like, Ooh, when I Taurus, get grown, Shoebies, uh, <laughs> Shoebies. You never watch Rocket Power? The tourists. So oh. people will come here for Six oh. Flags. No, 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 no. Like we came up here because like I, my family is. Oh, they rich from, men, they San Francisco, oh, San Francisco. Yeah, they, they, so it was always coming up here. So, oh, okay. by the time I came around in life, you know, what I mean? so, um, you know, when I was eighteen, I was like, oh, or when I was younger, I was like, ooh, when I get grown, I'm gonna move to Bay Area. You never really think you're gonna do that, but I really did. You know, move to the Bay. I left. It was I, fun I on had vacations. <laughs> right? It was gonna, I, no, I was. It was the best thing because if I stayed in Bakersfield, I, I don't think I'd be who I am now. All right. Because, like I said, I, who my grandparents were, I couldn't do move and right. do a lot of things I would have been able to, that I did here. Nobody knew me. Yeah, you couldn't be family, as great as Oprah. Right. Family. My family knew me, but they not going to be in the spaces and places I'm at. And if they <laughs> there, nigga, what you doing here? So, <laughs> then we both need to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? So, they wasn't going to see me cut up or be loose or whatever. So, I didn't have to worry about that either. You know, but... um being there at that school, those dudes, um, like right before I graduated high school, you know, he pulled me to the side. He was like, "Come here," and I was like, "Oh, what?" He was like, "Look, I know you gay. I gay, <laughs> Chris. I'm not dealing with you right now." <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he was like, "I know you gay," and he was like, "He was like, he said, but I don't think you know how special you are." And I was just like, "He was like, you are really pretty, and it's gonna be a lot of men after you." Never heard myself. He called pretty before, never. That's the and type I of didn't. shit that, like, I feel like isn't being passed down much. Like, that's the, like, yo, I need to pull you aside before you leave, bruh. This is what I need you to get right And was game. like, right. And he was like, it's going to be a lot of men after you. You make sure you get around some niggas that's going to love you and protect you because you're special, Chris. He was like, don't be, you know. And some of the stuff I just didn't understand, to, you know, because I wasn't, I hadn't went that route yet. So I didn't know. You know, cut to a year later, you know, my legs kicked up somewhere. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, but at the time, I still wasn't, it wasn't clicking. I was just right. like, what, you talking what are you about? talking about? You know, he was like, you you know, it's going to be a lot of guys that's going to be after you and trying to get with you, trying to, you know what I mean? And, and you're special because nobody's like you and stuff. Like, because I had a lot of those guys' respect. Like, I had to hold my own, too. You know what I mean? Like, from them roasting me. To, yeah. you know what I mean? We had survival. Yeah, That's survival. What I mean. Like, I'm back here squaring up with these niggas. Like, yes. all, like, like it was lo- like, I'm going to show you the picture. It almost looked like I was in prison. You know what <laughs> I mean? Uh, it's little stuff that I do that somebody told me years later. They were like, nigga, why are you doing jail shit? I'm like, oh, that's just how I learned. <laughs> That's I how I taught the They how taught I t- me right. from a jail nigga. <laughs> but I didn't see it like that. You know what I mean? I was just doing it. You know, and they're like, nigga, what nigga you See, doing? that's how shit get passed down. And I, I, I appreciate, you know, the, that whole experience. I mean, because I was learning about life. They were like, don't be like us. Don't be getting in gangs. Go to school, Chris. Go to college. If I could do it all over again, I, I would do it. No, I didn't finish college, mm-hmm. but I went. You know, I went, <laughs> you know, for about two, three years. But, you know, I, I but I, I still did, you know, from what they said, I didn't get in trouble. I didn't, you know, do gangs and drugs and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get you know, involved like that because they would show me what it could what it could do. Where I'd seen guys on their last strike and would be gone, wouldn't see them again. Yeah, you know, or 
scary shit. Yeah, guys, that was that's just, fucking scare factor, fear yeah, factor. They were serious about me. You know what I mean? I remember one dude was I kind of fucked somebody's shit up one time. You know, I'm learning Bible school. What do you mean? Oh, the hell? I, 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 I fucked the hair cut up. It was all fucked up. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about the, the, the motherfucking tape. It's an apple. Tape it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little, app, bro. You know where the hook part be, where black black yeah, nigga got that I hook be. That temper was that high on the afro, right? So of course we went to like whip my ass or whatever, and I just remember all those dudes like, no, nah, that shit ain't going down. <laughs> like they was like, you know, you know, little damsels in distress. <laughs> Ooh, y'all just. <laughs> You know, I remember, like, I remember a lot of things that I look back, like, you know, I don't even know why I'm on this. We way out of the like, <laughs> just, just, I guess the feminine qualities I had, like, them dudes didn't want other men touching, um, touch, like, we had to learn how to do facials. So they didn't like every other man, because that's part of the state war. Really? The but men do do facials in the barbershop. Yeah, but it was early two thousand. Oh, and right, not you, right. yeah, now it, I mean Yeah, now these old soft ass niggas <laughs> you don't want to do facials and, and, and tweeze they like. Like let me get shit. this. I need yeah, to yeah, get this. this. You know, you know, what's up with my skin? You, you see that? You see yeah, that? Like, that? So I got used to you know, so that's the thing too, just even just how masculinity has changed. It's it, it's a it's an adjustment. So they didn't really want, you know, and you know, a lot of men don't get their hands, you know, calluses and shit. Yeah, Nobody yeah, want to be yeah. so, you know, hear me all fresh hands, you know. <laughs> oh no, no, I want Chris to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Plus it was a way to go to sleep too. So I said, I was charging, well, I'm gonna need five dollars in or so or ten dollars, you know. But it's just those experiences and then even even after that I got older and I got some more game. It goes back to don't be letting niggas fuck on you like that. True. Don't be, you know what I mean? Don't be messing with dudes that all running the same click. Your name gonna be around. So I never messed with, or I tried not to mess with anybody that ran in the same club. Even groups know each and, other. And know each other. Like now, at least knowledgeably. Right knew now, each what, other. what, like, what fucked it up for me was when Facebook started to become more popular. Now you're starting to see who all <laughs> knows who, and then you know what I mean. And then. um you know, I started finding out, you know, oh, they friends, okay, I ain't even oh, yeah. dealing with Not him because I don't right. know, you know, so uh, it was just those those lessons, you know, that I appreciate, um, you know, grooming me for, for this life, I guess. I don't like to say lifestyle because I feel like it's just life. Exactly. It's just really... But but I, 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 had, I say lifestyle sometimes too for the listener because it is a different lifestyle that is promoted through entertainment or through what they most you know gay life basically is different than what we typically is promoted to, to yeah the what person. they think it is i, well, they, I think right. they just i think like they just think gays have sex all day well they, they, well, they think <laughs> that and running around with glitter and all it's stuff. like it's like, just like we just have like it's a it's a I'm party like, all day right like, like we just have no but but i blame no. some of that on the gay community Though. True. <laughs> really, the white gay community. But I mean, that's the only community that started. Yeah, really funded it. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. Shit, we still trying to get the AIDS. Yeah, I did. Like, I I said, no other letters more. were added. Right. Yeah. It actually, and it's like, because I was telling them, like, I'm like, I'm like, the parts that they're showing you is the fun everyday parts. You know what I mean? I, you can find what you see on TV. You can find that on a Saturday night easily, mm-hmm. or a Friday night easily. I said the part they don't show you is the everyday gay person going to work, the everyday person um, struggling in a relationship or battling um, depression, or you know the everyday gay person just just everyday stuff. I'm like that's I always say the gay, that's why I want to create that script to show different kinds of gay people. Script, what you mean? Like I want to rec- make a show, like I I want like a show um, about. Now, I don't want to say gay life, but just about people, same gender loving people. That's so crazy because I have a, I have an idea for one, and I have, a, I have a. Basically, it's, it's not just gay girls, but but it, the main character is uh, right. be, uh, two lesbians. Two lesbians. Right. 
uh, going their separate, uh, going, um, living life. They in the beginning you're gonna see them together, and then you're gonna see like their child change, change. their change, yeah. their relationship change, how they are when they're together, when they are how they are when they're apart. But you also gonna see like their advice from their straight friends or their friend circle, like how like oh how a male Yo. friend would interpret your relationship Yo. versus your female friend and how your you get a whole new perspective, which yeah. is why I love talking yeah. to my straight friends, of yeah. guy friends about this shit because. Gay guys gonna give me this, or girls are gonna give me this, but this guy's gonna see something. Exactly, different. and then you can come form your own idea. Like, well, I come up with a med- medium, and that's what I really want to mm-hmm. uh, focus on. On that, that's called uh, illogical people. Mm-hmm. Basically, because you know we're talking about relationships. Like, uh, God giving you a sign, you still ignoring that sign. Mm-hmm. We're, like, that's everybody. Like, we mm-hmm. continue going to that stupid like. Going into that relationship, going back, going back, like keep doing the same thing is insanity, <laughs> and expecting a different result is insanity. You gotta really that person ain't gonna. You're change. gonna have to change it. So like illogical people, and it's not just the lesbian. Like you're gonna see your their friends go through their relationship, their marriages, or or dating life, going to school, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So I wanted to be like L word, meet the girlfriends, meet queer folk type shit. Mm-hmm. There's another like one insecure. I can't, insecure, all that, like in one Atlanta, yeah. mm-hmm. all that in one, like just their their relationship that base and how they're yeah. going to get to okay in life. Like this is what we're going through. And that's 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 what I'm saying because I it's the same thing. Um, I'm tr- but I'm trying to also to to play on the emotional and the mental for the viewer to understand this type of man or to understand this type of woman. Um, and why they make these decisions that exactly. they make and maybe where it stems from um, and how it can have a positive or negative effect, you know. Um, and I wanted, I don't even damn near want too many characters. Like, I'm so tired of every time I watch something black, they got the most feminine gay dude. And it's like, I don't have a problem with the feminist gay dude. But there's more. All. It's just as fucking more. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm like, why does this nigga keep getting a shine all the time? Yeah. And it's like, even you, as a feminist, know there's more to gay people than than you than just how you, you know, come across. And you know what's so crazy? It made me how I see it and stuff. You know, like even that gay character that is straight at first, and then like he has to come out the closet, and, and then he goes, he goes like, and like, and and like, like, where did this fucking come from, my nigga? <laughs> like, like, last like, season, you were straight as fuck. Like, why can't you? Like, like and, I, and, I'm and it's not out. even like a progression because I remember like back when like at one point I did think there was one way to be gay. I'm like I thought you had to be the stud to be a gay. But it, it, exactly, that make you think, you think like oh that's the only way I could get a pretty girl to like me is I have to be a girl. I, it took me years to get to the point like okay I could dress how I want to dress. dress, <laughs> dress but that was a year like, progression. They don't and that's <laughs> why representation matters Bruh. so much because. Like I said, I'm watching Queer as Folk, so I'm thinking I gotta be bitchy and catty all goddamn right. day. And it's fun to be that sometimes, you know, when you're with the right crowd of people. But it's like, like I, like I was always trying, like I've had straight people tell me, like, yo, you not like how I think gay people are, or you're not like this gay guy I knew, or like, you know, being hella messy, or, you know, saying the wrong thing. Like, like it's like some of that extra shit you just don't have to do. And it's like, and it's like, and they be like, well, I should be, be my... I'm like, you can be yourself, but let them get used to you first. Yeah. I'm like, let them... You, gay people got to take in the fact that, hey, everybody ain't been around this. So you got to move a little slow and be patient with them to kind of catch up to I them. completely understand. There's like... I, I, I also hate when like there's, there's two things. Like people expect that like as soon as them, them, they come out and they're like, oh, I accept me being gay. Now you need to accept. I'm like, no, they're going to need a minute. Like Caitlyn Especially Jenner... You start off... Yeah, yeah, like Caitlyn Jenner was. I was like, I didn't like that she was mad as Chris Jenner for coming out. Like, I, I like, I mean, not for coming out, but she was mad. Like, yo, you gotta give Chris time. Like, you're you were her you husband. husband. Like, like, <laughs> She's not just gonna be okay with it. Yeah. She's not gonna like give her that. give her a minute to be to come to like that. realize they like, yo, y'all had kids together. This is something. This is heartbreaking. This is embarrassing. Same, and gay people don't really take that same scenario. That's just like if all of a sudden you found out your mom was a murderer and she been killing like 20 people oh, for the last like, like 10 Jeffrey years Dahmer? you gonna be you gonna be below be like, like, what the fuck? like I'm not trying to compare killing again I'm just saying when you once known something as this 
That's just like we yeah. find out there's aliens, and all of a sudden your whole existence is gonna be blown because, <laughs> because you're gonna be like, like okay. I came to the world to know it like this, and now there's actually more out there. Like, and people don't. That's why I say like you you gotta give straight mm-hmm. people time to catch up. You gotta exactly. give. You yeah, know. It, it may take time. Some people, like, I know gay couples that are like, it took me and my family 10 years to be okay with my relationship. Yeah, it might take that long. Or even, like, if you, like, but it, if if there's less of a push, it's like the vaccine. Like, if there's less of a push, I think there would be people more are. of an acceptance. It's like, okay, I'm going to give you a minute. I'm not going to push this on you. I understand it's it's, it's a lot. And, but, you have to be, and the thing about it is people have to be prepared to like, look, when you come out as gay, you shouldn't even be asking everybody to accept you. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you need to, a lot of rise too, why people be uncomfortable because you really aren't still comfortable the way you say you are. Exactly. But it's like, you can't expect everybody <laughs> to accept you. Accept you first and fuck with the people that fuck with you, period. If that mean cutting family members off, that mean cutting daddy off, mm-hmm. auntie, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Something I was prepared the time to. Period. It is. I was prepared to like if I was gonna lose everybody in my family, like I was gonna be okay with it because what I couldn't do was be phony to me for the comfortability for of you else. to try to play like I'm straight, and that's what would have happened to me if I had stayed in it. I'd have been playing a whole straight ass life. It's a bullshit, bullshit. I like people go for years. This don't like that's, that's too tele- long. I couldn't. There's a television <laughs> a show where the dude comes out at like seventy five. By like 75, you're just now being real to yourself? That is so be- sad. It's sad, but it's be- but it's the world we live in that don't let... We don't let people be the... Oh, shit. We don't let people... Um, <laughs> we don't let... Oh, thank God. We don't let people um, be themselves. We don't let people... Once all over. You know, you so you, you... You know, especially if you... If you're 75... Oh my God! I could just imagine what being in your twenties. I you know you be. had to be doing some sneaky. Oh no, no, it's not about the sneaky, but that's what I'm saying. You had to be sneaky, so yeah. sneaky. Like I could just imagine longing for somebody you really want to walk down the street with and can't Do at it. all. Imagine like being in love with somebody in your forties and finally coming out. That's what I tell you, I mean, now don't. Gone. That part. And like then, oh my you, God! That's what I tell people now. Like I tell young dudes now. Don't be older just now. You don't want to be old just now sucking dick in the gay community. Because gay community <laughs> already rude to old to older men, period. They already rude. Rude. You don't want to be, because you won't have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. If you a certain age. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, gay, gay like, was rude. Uh, I'm just telling like, you. Uh, this your fault. You should have came through earlier. You, that's what I say. I tell you, and I'm like, if you're thinking about it or want to do it now, try it now. Do it now. Don't be... And I think that's the one thing, like, we're so stuck on, like, oh, there only has to be one. Why? Like, no, try it now. Try it now. And, and, there's, and there's too much taboo out there for, like, especially men. Because women, of course, women, it's easy to go out and try and whatever. A, yeah, you're right. Oh, like, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, they're able to try whatever. And then men aren't. It's taboo. And you want to let, that's because it's a man world. They said it was okay for good for women. Because just like that shit with Normani and Tiana Taylor, I don't know if you saw it on MT. Oh yeah, on the MTV Awards, Namardi was performing, and um, at toward the end of her performance, Tiana Terry came. You remember Jada Jackson? Oh she yeah, she that? tied her up, she chained her up, and she which was a half lackluster. It was like if you're gonna do Jada Jackson, you better do it right, <laughs> not sit your ass down. I always hate, I hate gay for pay. I absolutely I hate Lee. I call him Katy Perry's. I do not only fuck with that shit. Like, oh my god, you're only gay because it's extreme but, and but it's okay. Shit, but then right. you have the, the shit to do is like nobody. Where are you at now, Boosie? <laughs> Still dreaming about Lod's eggs at three a.m. Right. in the morning. Like, like, like why? You know, like I said, it's it's okay for two women to play around and do whatever. Like I've heard heterosexual women tell me this personally in my face. Oh, I'm cool with basically messing around with another girl, but if my man wants to mess around, then I'm leaving. I like, hell mm-hmm. no. Nah. That mean he and I'm like, what are you? I'm like, what? That's not mm-hmm. fair. I'm like, I'm like, what if he's still a good man? He didn't say he wanted. Well, I can't compete, bitch. You can't compete with uh, <laughs> Jimmy from up the street. Sit your ass down. That's like, the thing though. Like, it's so like, you can't go and try it. Like women could go and tell me what you can't compete. Men bitch, don't be like, I can't compete. They be like, uh, uh-uh. two men said me to try. Right? <laughs> I was two like, men said it when you get that goddamn deal. though. no. Shit. I mean, it's so 
it, <coughs> it's, it's, uh, it's been white sided it's always going to be one sided because man feel I feel like man did create this create the fact that man has to be a strong but baby. you know but here's the thing though you know why and this is why the feminine gay man is promoted because if you show the man that's what you just said strong and everything but likes to still get bent over they don't that's too close to that threatens the the manhood so we rather front off the feminine gay dude because he's easier for people to swallow and accept Mm -hmm. but if i show him just like me which that's why i want to make the script Uh but if i show him just like me it's gonna threaten the manhood, the, manhood. The, 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 the height, the, the patriarchy, the everything else. But it's like, y'all doing it anyways. Yeah. Like, it's a, they're like, oh, okay. There's gay men and then there's men men. Like, no. He's no. still a man. Still a man. He's a man. Too long to he just yeah. got all his wrists bent. But yeah. it's still, and I'm talking about for the gay men who still I did. You know, you gotta be politically correct. Mm-hmm. For the men that are still see themselves as men, rather regardless whether they're feminine or not. You know, or the, or, you know, the trans men and stuff, but for the, for the, for the, you know, the, the, the masculine male, you know what I mean? Like, that's why, like, when I was young, I took all my black female cousins, mm-hmm. most of them, or at least tried to get them, the ones that was around me, at least the most, and I had them go in the clubs with me, and I, I did that with my sister, too, because I wanted them to see what gay really looked like, because I was even blowed. Because I had an image of what I thought gay was when I was you younger. You thought it was just flamboyant. Until I started, exactly. you know, I'm 19, hanging at the 21 and up clothes, mm-hmm. pocket lot pimping, and he's just, I'm talking, <laughs> yep, in my white uh-uh, teeth, you I know. Made, they, I have been a fine gay boy. I wanted to be my baby daddy. <laughs> I was like, I don't even care if you're gay still. I just she want you like, to be my baby daddy. Baby you up. are gorgeous. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, like these dudes was super masculine. <laughs> so I, I, was just like so I took them to the club because I wanted them to see bitch it might not always be another woman uh-huh. it might could be even watch yeah, his too. best friend too that's what I'm saying everybody I mean? wants to I don't think I think we're tied down because the world wants it to be because people tied having, way. yeah people tired of having sex yeah. with the same I think right. sex has become so freely I think two men have just gotten tired of fucking the same I, I think thing. that's what happened with celebrities too I think celebrities are that's why they be doing it. Mm-hmm. I think they be doing it when you, when, you, when, you when you get when the pussy or the dick is just coming to you so easily, it comes. Yeah, and you gotta try different shit. It, 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 and maybe that might even be abusing like sex. You know what I mean? But um, I think you start wanting, you start wanting other stuff. You start uh, stuff that used to turn you on once as a teenager, early twenties, ain't doing it for you no mm-hmm. more. You know, you need to take it a step up. You know what I mean? <laughs> need the level. You might be having sex too much too. Like you know, calm it down. <laughs> calm it down. Are you jacking off or looking out too mm-hmm. much or playing? You know, rubbing too much. Oops. Or whatever you know, is your is your fancy and stuff. But um, we actually did some good content. I think yeah, <laughs> yeah. I we flowed very well. Yeah. Definitely invite you yeah. to show me anytime. Definitely, I'll come back anytime. No worries. Definitely, definitely. Well, y'all, we didn't talk about an hour and thirty eight minutes, and Daddy stomach hungry. I know you're hungry. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and end this. You definitely will catch us again together. Um, and that's at Let's the Villain on Instagram and Facebook as well. Facebook, everything. Mm-hmm. Let's the Villain. At everything. everything. <laughs> All right. And you already know it's your boy Talking Ish for Chris. T A L K I N I S H W I T C H R I S. And I'm on all your social media, streaming platforms, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever else you may get your podcast listening at. I am the most likely. So until next time, y'all. Bye. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. That's a price, that's a price. Yeah. Mode. None of this is scripted, life a movie role Play my part, show them even through the bloopers you could grow Find my reason, fly shit, I be dressing like some solid season I keep it solid, every morning, every noon, and every evening, yeah